In our last video, we were in the central Florida town of Crystal River. Crystal River is the self-proclaimed home of the manatees. We checked out the historic downtown, strolled along the waterfront, watched them hang with the manatees in Kings Bay. Of course, Caroline checked out some of the street art. And in this video, we're in Sarasota, Florida. For context, we visited Sarasota on a late weekend in March. We started our visit at the waterfront because, well, why not? So this is our first trip to Sarasota. Right now we're right behind the Van Wessel Performing Arts Theater. We're walking along the trail and we're gonna work our way to downtown. We worked our way down the Mangrove Bayou Walkway, which is a half mile walkway that opened in April of 2021. That takes us to the Bay. The first 10 acre phase of the bay opened in October of 2022. Ultimately, it'll be 53 acres and they're anticipating it'll take eight to 10 years to complete over four phases. Yeah, this is such a no brainer. I mean, if your town or city sits alongside the water, you've gotta have some kind of an attraction to draw people to it. This is awesome. Sarasota has a population of 55,000, although over a million people visit annually. This was a cool park and it offered a lot of seating for you just to relax and enjoy the view of the water. With that said, we were pretty excited to check out the downtown. So that's where we headed next. But if you like the water scenes, don't worry, we'll return later in the video. Sarasota has an interesting history. In the 1880s, the Florida Mortgage and Investment Company, which interestingly was based in Edinburgh, Scotland, bought about 50,000 acres and many Scottish people began arriving and settling there. As usual, we didn't have much of a plan. We just knew the general direction of what we considered the main part of the downtown. So that's what we're doing now. We'll eventually circle back to where we started. This is part of the Florida Studio Theater, which owns several buildings and several venues here in downtown. Sarasota has a thriving art scene. Here you see the Sage Restaurant, which opened in 2019. However, it's located in the former Sarasota Times Building, which dates back to 1926. came evident to us very quickly. This is a very well-maintained downtown. Might be a little hard to see here, but at the Art Ovation building, there is a bar on the roof. 
This building is the Keating Theater, which is part of the Florida Studio Theater. It's one of the oldest surviving buildings in town. It was originally built in 1915 as the Women's Club, and the theater moved in in 1977. We continued navigating the fruit-themed streets until we made our way to the historic downtown, which is actually Main Street. This intersection of Central Avenue, Pineapple Avenue, and Main Street constitutes the Five Points Roundabout, which is considered the heart of downtown, and it dates back to the 1800s. And it seems like in every city we visit, we find the Crest Building. You'll see it more from across the street. It's currently empty, but it looks really cool. And as a reminder from our other videos, that was the five and dime of the day. The city hosts over 10 different farmers markets, but you can see here they were just getting ready to take this one down. They hold this in downtown on Saturdays. Downtown Sarasota is exactly what you hope it would be. It's a great mix of locally owned bars, restaurants, and retail. And bonus point, the Main Street is actually called Main Street, which oddly enough isn't always the case. As is our usual protocol, we really only focus on the core downtown in our videos, and we came to an end of what seemed like the busiest part of Main Street, so it was time to turn around and check it out from the other side of the street. So we started at the waterfront and then worked our way into downtown. We started in the theater district and then went up Main Street, had a delicious lunch. Now we've looped around and we're going back on Main to see the rest of downtown. Yeah, it's easy to see why for 2023 to 2024, this was the second fastest growing city in the United States and ranked number five on the best places to live. It is a really great town. If you choose to visit Sarasota via a car, know this place loves their roundabouts. Hey, but at least they make them cool looking. Downtown is also host to several festivals, including the Festival of the Arts, which has been going on annually for the past 35 years, and the Whiskey Obsession Festival since 2013. And as you probably noticed from the signs, there's also a film festival that they host every year. So I need a judge's ruling here on my streak of finding a brewery in every town, as you can see across the street, uh, was a brewery, but it was closed and it looked like actually permanently closed. So I'm not sure if that one counts or not. <laughs> and here's the Crest building from the other side of the street.
It was nothing but sunshine when we were here, but you might be interested to know that January 9th, 1886, the residents of Sarasota woke up to snow. And up ahead on the left is the Opera House. Originally built in 1926 as the Edwards Theater, it was designed for silent movies and vaudeville shows. Elvis actually did one of his first shows here in February of 1956. It only cost you 76 cents. Besides opera and theater, Sarasota is actually also known as Circus City. In 1927, it became the winter home of the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus. After a thorough exploration of the downtown, we decided it was time to return to the waterfront. Sarasota is actually made up of over 42% water. It has 37 miles of shoreline, 13 public beaches, and over 35 miles of white sand. This part's more marina-based. The more traditional beaches are out on the intercoastal waterway. This is very similar to Clearwater and Clearwater Beach. And if you're interested in learning more about those two, we have videos for them as well. You can check them out on our channel. Unconditional Surrender is a series of statues by Seward Johnson. This is the first in the series installed here in Sarasota in 2005. It's based on the iconic 1945 photo. While they've been in several cities, we've also seen the one in San Diego. Sarasota has an amateur water ski show team that has performed seasonal weekly free shows since 1957. And in the distance there, you can see a bridge that'll take you to the more traditional beaches, if that's your thing. Although, we'd probably recommend just check out the downtown first. This awesome water fountain represented the end of the trail, so it was time to head back to the car. For those that like to explore on foot like we do, the downtown and the waterfront are very close to each other, so we find this very easy to navigate around. The Bell Haven was built in 1926 and used as a hotel, apartments, and offices over the years. It was last used in the 1980s, but I was excited to see that it's been restored and it is now available for mixed use. And with that said, it's time to wrap this video up. 
All right, what did you think of downtown Sarasota? I liked it. It's a much bigger city than I realized with tons of high rises, but it was really cool and what amazing views of the water. Yeah, as always, we focused on the downtown uh, Main Street mm -hmm. and then the waterfront, which happened to be adjacent to each other. And this is really a very nice town. Um, I would consider it pretty upscale, very more much. along the lines of, say, in Naples. Mm -hmm. uh, beautiful. I mean, this is definitely worth a, a trip to see. I enjoyed all of it. Huge thumbs up from me. Me too. All right. Get off the couch. See you next time. Cheers.